Hello students. So this is a biology class of first PUC, first chapter, the living world. You have already learned about the characteristics of living organisms in the last session. So today, in this session, we will learn the naming of organisms. So you know, you can see different kinds of plants, animals, they found it everywhere. Identification of these organisms are very important. The names of the organism it changes from place to place. It is not same which gives or this confusion. It changes from place to place, language to language. For example, mango, it may call with different names in different parts of our country or in the state. So in order to standardize the name, you would be better to call one organism with one particular name which is known by all that is nothing but nomenclature. Nomenclature is nothing but naming of organism. It is not a local name or common name. This is a scientific method of naming of organisms. So this classification or naming of organism mainly given by first uh, given by Carolus Linnaeus hence is called as father of classification or father of binomial nomenclature Carolus Linnaeus so here there is nothing but this mainly bears down some principles or some criteria plants or animals are given with particular name that is given by mainly what is called International Code for Botanical Nomenclature the abbreviation ICBN International Code for Botanical Nomenclature where the plants are named with the scientific method that means binomial nomenclature or scientific names are given to the plants mainly by the committee called International Code for Botanical Nomenclature. Whereas uh, animals mainly given with scientific name, the committee is called International Code for Zoological Nomenclature. Then what here and all the animals are given with scientific names. Then Mangifera indica here also a term Linnaeus that means scientist who 
identified and studied for the first time and given the scientific name of mango. Hence, uh, in the abbreviation form, Linnaeus name is written. See, Solanum tuberosum is a scientific name of potato. Solanum melanchina is a brinjal. Badale. Panthera leo is a scientific name of lion. Panthera tigris is a scientific name of tiger. Panthera pardus is a scientific name of leopardus. And also here we may got Pelis domestica. So domestica is scientific name of cat. Homo sapiens scientific name of man. Here we all can make out there are two words. The first word is nothing but name of genus. And the second word is name of species. There are some rules you can make out while writing the scientific names. Then what is the importance of these scientific names? Mainly, which is recognized by all over the world. Hence, it is nothing but universal recognition. Universal recognition. And scientific names mainly avoid the confusion. Because, you know, if you call the name of one particular organism with the local name or local language, it may change from this place to another place. So that means it changes, it varies from place to place, language to language. So that means we may get the confusion. So we cannot understand which animal or which plant is called with that name. So in order to avoid confusion, mainly scientific names are given. Scientific names are given. That is nothing but binomial nomenclature. Uh, 
the scientist name but in a rule it is a not to write the scientist name who observed and given the first scientific name to particular species so these are some of the rules are they while writing the binomial nomenclature or scientific names scientific names are accepted all over the world so because it's a common name so common name called by everyone so for example homo sapiens this is a scientific name of man is common all over the world if you go america or england or in india so man is called with the homo sapiens so the best there is no confusion at all it should avoid the confusion in scientific names or binomial nomenclature anyway binomial nomenclature is nothing but this is scientific method of naming of organism with the two words or two names the first name is name of genus and the second name is name of species then rules it may ask in the exam write the rules in binomial nomenclature then write the full form of icbn or iczn so that is something but international code for botanical nomenclature that is icbn mainly plants are going to be scientific names then iczn is a international code for zoological nomenclature so these are the nomenclature of organisms